thought I'd do a quick update on the Xiaomi Mi Box. I reviewed this last year, been using it for quite a while, but we've now had an update to Android Oreo. So I'm showing you the original screens that we have here when I reviewed it and the layout. And I thought it's been a pretty good box, but there's been a few areas which perhaps could have been a bit better. So we'll head into the system updates you'll see the download there is about 615 megabytes so you'll need to allow yourself about 20 minutes or so to download and install the update then it will take you through the new full assistant experience as they call it and this some of the screens which show you some of the new features with the update remember we're running android tv and not the standard stock experience so they've obviously decided to make some improvements to this so we'll have a look in a second and see how that holds up now we've done the installation the update and you can see the home screen has changed quite a bit um, instead of just the usual tile layout you now have some sort of order to it so you have play next featured recommended i've also got a few apps that i have installed like ted talks now the ability to customize this is reasonable it's not quite as good as i would like you've still got the uh, play store for the android tv but the one thing i do miss is the ability to install other apps but though you have to sideload those so you can get around that just as you could do with the original box you can see the layout there and on to the settings instead of going into a separate screen you can see we can access that and they turns up on the right hand side of the screen and that's quite a nice improvement because it saves going into a separate menu system for the settings so you can get to everything pretty quickly without dropping you out of the main screen you see some of the apps that i have installed myself haven't got a card on this so i've still managed to get a decent amount of space it's using only about two and a half gigs and then go into the about section you'll be able to see that it's running the latest version of android although we are expecting this one to have more updates over a period of time that was one of the weaknesses previous versions of android and sure enough we've got some nice improvements with this we've got the thumbnails on videos that will play when you hover over them also found the youtube app to be working quite well a bit nippier and faster than the previous version just seems to be more responsive navigating through you can also go in and customize the channels whether or not you want um, the feeds on particular channels so for example if you don't use the play movie you can just turn that off and you can also reorder the apps on the main screen as well. Again, I would like to see a little bit more customization, but still it is a reasonable improvement over the last version. I've just sideloaded the apps that I have installed now. You're still gonna to need to do that, but at least you can put them up at the top of the screen, your apps. See how I have the Showbox app installed. Kodi is working okay as well. And you can see if you don't want to use particular ones like the Google Movies, you can go in and disable it. So you can't uninstall these apps or I haven't found a way to uninstall them, but just pick the ones that you don't want and you can disable it. Then that will take it off of the main screen. Because to be honest with you, I wouldn't use most of the services that are on there. I don't use Netflix myself. Nice feature is you can change the order of the uh, particular feed that you've got. So for example, you can see here I'm moving it up and down. So you have one that you watch quite frequently. You can put that up towards the top. You will always have the apps right at the top though. So bearing in mind the update has been quite a long time coming. I think it's worthwhile installing. I would still like to see some more improvements, but they have done a decent job with the uh, voice search that now seems much more responsive and it also seems to pick up your voice better so it will search through the apps that you've got you can also ask it things like the weather so decent improvement all round i personally would install it i'll have to use this a bit more just to see if there's any bugs or any quirks so hopefully that was of some use to you do stay tuned for some more videos and updates and i will see you soon